Hey girl, it's Evelyn here and I'm back. We just gonna let that big purple polka dot pink elephant just hang out in the atmosphere, okay? Okay, you already know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm back with another video in the Side Hustle series, but as you can see by the title, Death to the Side Hustle, okay? So I've got some notes here. Gonna try to keep the video short, but if you know me, if you've been here before, if you've been back around this way, then you already know your girl's a little long-winded. If you're new, I hope you got a snack and a beverage, okay? So I'm, kind of, I'm gonna try to keep it short today. I've got my notes here, like I said, so let's get into it. So I wanna talk about the death of a side hustle because one of the things I've been working on in my absence is I have been working on the power, paying attention to the power of my words. There have been so many things that have happened in my life, positive and not so positive, that are a direct reflection of things that I said and believed over and over and over and over and over again. And I can do that in a completely different video. As a matter of fact, I can do that as a completely different series. And I just might. We all know it, but I have very specific examples on the power of my words and it has freaked me out. So with that being said, I wanted to, I thought about that in the context of side hustling. And so for most of us, if, if you're like, if you're anything like me, you always wanted your side hustle to be your full time revenue income generator, right? And the fact that we called it a side hustle already indicates that that's all it will be. Right. So one of my so and so I was like, I don't want to call it a side hustle anymore because I looked up the definition of a side of a hustle. Right. And let me read to you. I got my handy dandy laptop right here. Let me read to you the definition of hustle. Force so, or someone or something to move hurriedly or unceremoniously unceremon in a specified direction. Hurry hurriedly or unceremoniously. Okay, second definition. Obtained by forceful action or persuasion. Forceful action. Um, busy movement and activity. Busy. And the last definition, a fraud or a swindle. Now, I don't know about you, but none of those definitions are appetizing to me. I want to generate income in a way that I enjoy. I want to generate income in a way that I'm not doing that team no sleep because I'm not here for that. I'm not a uh, team. I'm not team. I'll sleep when I die. I'm not here for that. I don't want to have to do it with force and you know unceremoniously and I don't want it to be a swindle or a fraud. And while that's not what we mean when we say it, the power of our words are the power of our words. And I, re and I realized that for years I was calling my business a side hustle and a hustle is exactly what it was. And hustling was exactly what I was doing. I was exhausted. I was burnt out. I was tired. I was unmotivated. I was lacking creativity. I wasn't enjoying it anymore. And that's because I was hustling. So this video is all about the death of a side hustle. So what I really would like you and I to do is to to use our words with the intent, right? Right. So while we don't intend uh, our side hustle to be what the definition of it is, it is what it is. Okay. So what do you? What's the intent? Do you do you want your side business, the, the your supplemental income, to become your main source of income? If you do, we need to start calling it what it is, or calling it what it will be. I remember years ago, I w I think the bronze goddess. Oh, I'm sorry, life coach Sean. I think she was going to have an event called um, Come As You Will Be or Call It As You Will Be. I can't remember. It was years ago, probably five years ago. I've been following her for a really long time and she is doing all of the amazing things right now um, and has been for some time. Shout out to you, Sean. Um, it's so funny calling her Sean. Anyway, um, and I remember thinking, that's such a wonderful phrase. Come as you will be or call it as it will be. And so I was like, instead of calling our 
passive income our supplemental income our side hustle why don't we just call it this is my business this is my company right 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 so uh it's it's such a it's a subtle change but when you start calling something your business or your company the way that you treat it becomes different if something is just on the side then it can just be on the side and it's not that important and i can work it when i want to work it and i can and i cannot work it when i don't want to work it and sometimes it slips into being a hobby or an expensive hobby but it's just a little side thing it's not the main thing right so the power of intent and then recently Rushni of Glamazini here on YouTube and all over the internet if you're not following her if you're not in her um, Facebook group um, did a live stream that really really inspired me um, the other day and she said act as if act as if what if you acted as if your supplemental income was your main income how would that change how you made decisions about your business. How, what if you acted as if your business was already where you wanted it to be? How would you change in the way that you function? What if you acted as if it was your main thing and not your side thing? How would that change the way you move throughout the day? How would that change how you spent your money? How would that change how you made the decisions? How would that change how that business shows up in the community, on the internet, in the world at large, right? So, um, I challenge you to join me in renaming your side hustle and finding something and naming it what you would like it to be. Also, what things in your life, not just in, with your business, do you need to act as if on? And, and Glamazidi is doing a challenge on it. And uh, I came in late on the challenge, but I was like, I'm just going to challenge myself indefinitely to act as if, right? And I, I started writing down some different things I wanted to act as if about in my life, not just in my business. And then think about what has been working and what hasn't been working in different areas and ask yourself, what have I been saying about this area of my life? So, and, and find a new statement to replace the old statement that speaks to what you want it to be, that speaks to what you really desire. So uh, I have a worksheet per usual for this video. So if you sign up in the link below, you can get the worksheet that, 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 that will take you through these exercises. And you guys, I have started a Facebook group for those of us in the Evelyn Inc. community who want to do your You Inc yourself right and we're so we're going to be talking about our businesses we're going to be talking about goal getting and goal setting i'm going to be doing a series on planning i'm going to be doing a series on self-care i'm starting a new series with this video called corporate to carefree how to survive your day job while building your daydream and i'm super 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 excited about it so if you want to join uh, the Facebook group you can click the link below uh, where it says join the Facebook group here and then also if you sign up for the email list you will get videos before everybody else and you will also get any corresponding documents or extra content that I decide to send in there so I am so excited we're gonna grow our whole you Inc situation our whole Evelyn Inc right the business of our lives and uh, I'm glad to be back. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.